Hey, this is Crypto Neptune. So in this video, we are going to add some liquidity to StableSwap so that we can continue to earn on our investment. And we're also going to look at a powerful demonstration of compound interest and how little money you can put in StableSwap. And over time, that money continues to multiply and compound. So we're going to look at that. And I have a cool flow chart to kind of show you how StableSwap is able to earn and pay investors. So it's a powerful demonstration. So remember, nothing I say is financial advice. You only want to use risk capital. And if you could do me a favor, give the video a like, leave any comments below regarding StableSwap. And if you could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It'll greatly help me out. So let's go ahead and provide some liquidity so you have the different terms here you have the short term long term and midterm but i want to use the the long term so i want to provide liquidity so i have 103 dollars and 47 cent so we are going to add that and sometimes it acts a little funny so i will just leave it a cent short because I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to hit the check mark. Go ahead and hit confirm. And wait. And it says your request has been processed. So if we look down here. So as you can see, it says that my request has been processed. So that quick. And I'll be earning 0.35% daily. And looking at the total providers, pretty cool and neat. The seed has continued to grow. So 3,339 providers. And we're inching closer as a whole to 6 million in liquidity provided. And it's been mentioned by Danny D and the team that they could potentially close the, the door as far as allowing additional investors to come on because pretty much this platform is sustainable to the point to where they feel comfortable hey we don't really need any new investors but if new investors want to come on there may be a last minute opportunity for a few more to come on so not sure if that's going to happen but that's been kind of some rumors circulating far as them potentially saying hey we're good now but so why I'm saying that is if you are looking to get into stable swap, the window of opportunity could be closing. So looking at what I have, so I have a little amount. So and I'm just starting out in stable swap, but I wanted to show you a powerful example. So looking at the numbers. And this is kind of my journey on stable swap. So let's say that I didn't add any more money, but I just let the compound daily interest just kind of do its thing for three years. I didn't add any money. This is what it would look like. So three years, not adding any more additional capital if I didn't want to. Now I plan to add more to my position, but look how powerful that is over three years. That's crazy. And this is assuming that you wouldn't be taking out any additional money. Now, let's say you look at six years. You're not taking any additional money out. Now, this would supersede any 401k performance unless you're like really heavy in, in, in there and just years and years and years. But what I'm getting at is over a six month time frame, that's going to beat any type of 401k type of investment. Now, again, this is risky business as always with any crypto, but this is kind of amazing to see the potential with this project. So now let's say that we go back to three years. And let's say that we want to add deposits. So let's say we want to do 
$100 bi-weekly. So we're going to do $100 bi-weekly. So we'll just punch that number in. Over three years, that will, will be what you're looking at. So every two weeks, you're putting in $100. This is powerful stuff. So let's do... So let's bump this up to six years. So six years, I mean, that's crazy. Now, obviously, you would need to have, <laughs> at this point, you would need to have some sort of profit-taking stat strategy. Now, for me, I'm not pulling anything out right now because I just started in stable swap. But down the road, maybe you want to do like a compound six days and then, you know, take out one day but if you're if you're making a nice chunk of change then it's you know it, it is recommended to figure out some sort of way to pull those profits out if that makes sense but uh, this is powerful stuff and that's only a principal balance of 500 and something dollars and that you know it gets even more powerful the kind of the more that you go up so let's kind of get rid of all this. Let's say it's just a thousand dollars, and you do six years. Put this number in zero point three five, and that's over six years. Again, that this one demonstrates not adding any additional deposit at all but that's just off of a thousand dollars so if danny d and the team can continue to and there's rumors that they're going to be providing even more products besides the over-the-counter process besides the remittance transfer payments so this could be kind of like a closed loop here in the future where it's just whatever liquidity providers are on would have access to the new products that are going to be coming on. But you get the point with how powerful compound interest can be. Now, obviously, you're going to be taking some profits along the way, but the stable swap team definitely could be on to something. And the stable coins, you're earning interest on USDT and USDC. Now, this is USDT on Ethereum, Binance, and Tron. And then this one, I think, is... I want to say ETH and BSC. Now, looking real quick at my stable swap plat platform earnings breakdown. So this is kind of to give you a visual of how this protocol works. Right. So we are the liquidity providers. We're providing stable coin li liquidity. And it's for... Top One Tech. So Top One Tech is the over-the-counter exchange, the OTC exchange. So they're using that liquidity to help pretty much transact. So OTC pays stable swap rewards through crypto and fiat buy and sell spreads. So basically what that means is the slight fluctuation in between the crypto price. The difference in between that, that's kind of how they're paying rewards. The same thing with the different in the local currencies within whichever market they're in. Philippines is one. Vietnam is another one, I believe. But the difference in between the currency conversion, which is just called the spread, that's how they're able to, to pay back rewards to liquidity providers. Also through this platform, there is on and off ramp fees. So if you deposit a, so let's go over here, for example, let's look at the deposits real quick. So let's say you deposit like a less than this $50, there'll be a $3 and 0.5, dollars and 50 cent of USDT fee, if that makes sense. So they got the deposits, withdrawals, you know, that's that information. Looks like there's some information here as far as 
internal transfers, but you get the point. There are kind of some on-ramp and off-ramp fees that help with the protocol. Remittance transfer payments, so remittance fees. So basically that is when you are sending money to a loved one over in another country. So that's kind of how that works. Now, we're just real liquidity providers. I'm in the U.S., so we don't have access to this here, but people in these local currencies can use the buy and sell option here and kind of the remittance side of things. But they can they can buy, they can sell, and use the remittance side of things. Peer-to-peer -peer fees. So there's some, again, these fees here are used to help make stable swap sustainable, but also pay us the liquidity providers. And then kind of like the icing on the cake is the stable swap marketing budget. So every now and then there is a marketing budget in which stable swap will increase the daily rewards and the generated APRs in order to get more liquidity into the platform. So they'll have some nice incentives for people in the platform and they'll increase this, which is some pretty awesome stuff. So that's another thing that, that I didn't mention. Also, this would speed up your process when they increase the APRs on those specials. That'll help you increase your position. And then here, I bring this up lastly because honestly, onboarding somebody onto the platform at this point is is really not necessary. You don't have if you're in stable swap, you don't have to onboard somebody if you don't want to. However, if you are interested in stable swap, reach out to me the uh Twitter via DM and I will leave my X handle or Twitter handle in the YouTube description because this is in this is invite only. This is this has gone private. So you would need an invite code in order to get into stable swap because it's private only now. That's how they want to do it. They want to run it. This is a private access club is kind of how they explained it, but it's pretty impressive that they're saying, hey, we you don't have to refer people or anything like that because the money is made in different ways. And top one is regulated in the Philippines, but it's made different ways from the spreads, from on and off ramp, remittance fees, which many top companies in America and all over the U and all over the world for that matter make money off remittance fees, peer-to-peer -peer fees, right? And with the advanced fee share, if you do onboard somebody, I believe it's like 0.15%. So, but again, I put that last because with this platform, it's not necessary. But if you're interested, you will need an invite code to get in. So reach out to me via of via x and i'll leave that information in the youtube description but i hope this helped put some a, a nice visual to how stable swap works and how sustainable this is going to be and again like i mentioned there's rumors that they're going to be adding to their business model far as other opportunities for us liquidity providers or those of us in stable swap to earn more passive income so this could be a game changer. So I hope this video gave you some value and you found it interesting on StableSwap. I want to thank you for listening and thanks for stopping by.